Diablo 4's latest method of making money is leaving players with some mixed feelings. Some of them are happy and some of them are rather disgusted by it. Hi, I'm Vladimir. I haven't made any content for Diablo 4 in a while and that's because I felt the game wasn't in the best place. Well, the game is moving in a positive direction and I will give credit where credit is due. However, the World of Warcraft crossover they're about to do is not a positive direction in my opinion. Before we get into that though, do me a favor, give it a like and give it a subscribe. Helps me continue on making content for you great folks. Let's check this out. One of the biggest issues people have had with Diablo 4 is how much of an MMO it's starting to look like. And it's not the ARGP that they remember. More and more, they're moving in elements from MMOs such as World of Warcraft, as well as cute and cuddly elements into the supposed to be dark and gory games, such as this stupid cat thing, whatever this is. Anyhow, skins have been extremely overpriced, as we all know. 2800 platinum so you only have you can only do it through platinum and the pricing for platinum is absolutely ludicrous in fact as you can see on the screen here it's 2800 platinum for a skin right that's 35 dollars well sorry 34 dollars canadian which is 25 dollars us that is ridiculous for a game that we paid full price for and that we have to pay full price for for the expansion this is absolutely ludicrous pricing so now let's go back to the world of warcraft skins and see what we have to offer so here we are in the warcraft legend section which to be honest this shouldn't exist in diablo i don't <laughs> i can't even state that enough but this is in my opinion is actually a way for them to try and bring some people over from warcraft to diablo because they're about to launch an expansion and i don't think they've sold a lot of copies for it because of what happened in the first year of this game so the warcraft legends that we have here we have five armor skins and one mount skin the mount skin, as you may have guessed, is the Celestial Steed. This is the mount that outsold StarCraft 2. Granted, this is a big salary. It's a great item. It was a great item for Warcraft, not Diablo. But that's neither here nor there. The fact that it's now $15 in the Warcraft store is a bit of an issue considering they're selling it for $25. Yes, the mount launched for $25 originally, but it is now $15, or at least has been. Um, so yes we've, we've got the celestial steed and the pricing is 2500 platinum which is ridiculous i'm sorry but that is absolutely ridiculous and this is what it looks like so that's what you get for it and uh, it is what it is nice pretty sparkly horse and they're bringing too much pretty sparkly into diablo in my opinion next we have the barbarian skin which is varian and this looks wrong okay it just looks wrong it doesn't look right it's not right it's yeah it's just wrong but it's available for 2800 platinum here's what you get so you can look like world of warcraft in diablo so that's varian next up we have xavius the first satire <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is absolutely stupid and ridiculous. <laughs> like, this is horrible. This is horrible. First off, Xavius doesn't look a thing like this. Um, if they had called it something else, it might have been able to pull it off as a druid, but making him a fat satire <laughs> was just wrong. <laughs> this is insulting to him in my opinion uh, but yeah now it could be yours for $25 US so that's Xavius <laughs> and next up we have Zalatath so Zalatath's skin actually looks alright not on the male necromancer it doesn't but it does look okay um, again it could be yours for $25 US and let's have a look here <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's fucking ridiculous. So here's the female version of what it looks like. The skin itself looks does look cool. Um, again, the fact that it's being brought from World of Warcraft is actually just wrong. Um, that's just the way it is. I'm sorry, but it just makes it look even more dumb and hilarious. So that's not a task. Next up, the one skin I actually almost would agree with and to be honest i would have liked it if they just 
bit a similar skin and not called it Sylvanas. Um, that would does actually suit the game is the Sylvanas skin, uh, the Banshee Queen. Now, it does look good. It actually has a really cool feel to it. Um, again, $25 US. But the fact that it's Sylvanas just doesn't belong in the game. So, but yes, it's Sylvanas, and you do actually get a cool bow with, cool bow with it. So, and last but not least, we have Kalthos, the Sun King, which is another one of those skins that just does not belong in Diablo. Um, I, I'm sorry, but none of these skins do. Like this is, these just look stupid. Like seriously. Now, the, the, the skin's all right, um, but it just doesn't belong in Diablo. Like this is, this is yeah no, it just doesn't belong here. Um, but that's that's just my opinion. So, but these are the skins that uh, you have the option of buying now. Um, now touching on that though, again twenty five dollars US. So if you take every single one of these skins and add them up. And you want to buy them all. Say you're a collector. You need five skins at 2,800 points or platinum. And then you need one skin at 2,500 platinum, which is a grand total of 16,500 platinum. To buy that amount, that would be $195 Canadian for me. Plus tax which would work out to be approximately $220 Canadian for those five skins and the mount. Which is brutal. The US price of that, I believe, let me see here. The US price of that is $160 US for those five skins. This pricing is ridiculous. It is beyond ridiculous in my opinion. Anyhow, these are the World of Warcraft skins that are coming into the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Check it out. Um, and I got plenty of other content coming for you. And I have plenty of other stuff for you to watch. You can also check me out on Twitch at uh, TT, Twitch TV Vladimir. Anyhow, you all have yourself a good day. And until next time, keep gaming.